and uh, let's go back to our lecture so before we start the use of aligners just to overcome their limitations we could use different techniques and it could be according to the fantasy that we all have I have very rich fantasy so I will show you today a lot of techniques that I use for example patient came to us we perform the serial extraction of the deciduous teeth teeth in five six years uh, we perform the expansion of the upper jaw then serial extraction of the deciduous teeth so everything goes according to the plan the progress is good then we're helping we're helping take notice we're helping to uh, erupt uh, tooth four seven uh, in the arch with a segmented arch arch wire we distalize the posterior segment with that with mini screws I'll show you in detail here so we stabilize the posterior teeth with the mini screws so we align fourth quadrant quadrant we fix the retainer to fix the, uh, the result that we managed to get so when we had this kind of preparation we made an expansion in a mixed dentition we performed the serial extraction of the deciduous teeth just to uh, manage the uh, the, uh, the space deficiency from a posterior to anterior and then we perform the distillation so in this situation it will be much easier to create a good smile with the liners for example, if we compare with the situation where we do, wouldn't do this kind of preparation. So the patient might decide not to do anything because everything is quite okay. And if you want to he fix his teeth even more, we can do it in two, three months with clear liners. So we made expansion in the age of six, then sequential serial, serial extraction of deciduous teeth and partial bracket system that help us to create proper conditions. Very often I uh, receive the question from the doctors that uh, perform prosthodontic treatment, implant placement they want with the help of aligners to create space for implant placement or another way around they want to close some spaces uh, where the tooth was extracted. And uh, these kind of corrections I perform not with a piece of acrylic but with metal arch wires and braces with a combination of te with TEDs. This technique helps us to predictably perform the movement of the posterior teeth. We know that the liners could not move teeth with translation because also they're not working properly with a vertical component. Here we could create first optimal conditions for the future prosthetics and then after the temporary crown was fixed if the patient desires we can easily perform the correction of the anterior teeth with the liners we used mini screw to stabilize tooth number three four and partial braces uh, to level the occlusal plane and create the space for the crown another example combination of braces and aligners I wanted to perform the bodily distillation of the posterior teeth so first of all I placed the mini screw for the stabilization of the anterior teeth then the, I pushed from it posterior teeth then I placed the mini screw in the position of molars and then I also pulled canine to posterior teeth and how managed to place the canine in the arch without any problems and after that we'll add aligners also as you see after I removed the braces canine went to the uh, relapse so I had to uh, uh, finish the rotation of the canine with the help of mini screw and with liners we can also work uh, on a leveling and aligning of the anterior teeth once again the combination if we would work only with the liners here so uh, we had big probability of not being able to place the canine in the uh, in the arch 
and we wouldn't be able to get the distillation, so we wouldn't be able to get the class one relationship. So we made a decision to combine the correction with braces and then to finish the aligning of the teeth uh, with clear liners. Another not standard case, deep bite. Also, you see scissor bite on premolars on the left side. So 3, 4 is too lingually inclined. And 4 uh, for decreasing the overbite, I place the button on a, a lingual, lingual part of this tooth, mini screw, elastics, and what we get? We are getting the normal overbite, normal contacts between posterior teeth, and after that we can add aligners for uh, 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 aligning anterior and posterior teeth. Another trick, deep bite, patient doesn't want any major corrections, he doesn't want to undergo major treatment, so we're doing much more simpler and easier. So we do this vertical uh, uh, elastics, so we try to uh, uh, intrude uh, posterior teeth because we have the uh, uh, also the elastics from the teeth to mini implants and with the liners we can uh, complete the lining of the incisors and we can get this kind of result. Also it's quite a quick correction and it uh, took us only five months. Another quite interesting case we see the big this uh, shift of the lower jaw to the left and we try to uh, correct it with the use of this simple technique as um, using of the elastics you take notice that step by step lower jaw is displacing to the right and thanks to this manipulation only we managed to move the lower jaw to right and or here you see attachments and we work with the liners. Unfortunately, I didn't have final pictures. The patient also made veneers, so the result was very beautiful. So if we wouldn't perform these pre preparations uh, with mini screw, I don't think that we would manage to get the, uh, the extremely good aesthetic result that we gained. Take notice how the uh, midline of the lower jaw is shifted to the left. Besides that, on upper jaw we bonded the button on a palatal surface of the uh, tooth 1.5 and the patient was wearing uh, elastics from mini screw to this button so that could help us to, de uh, to move the lower jaw to the right side. Then we see quite a severe crowding of anterior teeth and the patient wants us to perform correction with clear liners for creating space for anterior teeth. For that we would need quite a big distillation and for decreasing time for the distillation what we are doing first we we push uh, with the liners smaller distally and then thanks to the use of the tads, mini screws and elastic chains and buttons we uh, pull all the teeth from canine to second premolar uh, in a group and distalize them in one segment. So this kind of result could be gained in eight, nine months instead of 18 months. So first we pushed uh, posterior teeth with the liners, molars, we stabilize our uh, position with mini implants and we perform a mass retraction on mini screws and then we align the incisors with the uh, liners, with clear liners. Also, very often we receive patients 
with the deficiency of the elbow bone of the upper jaw, like here are these two patients, we could see that uh, their upper jaw didn't receive uh, complete development, maybe because of the uh, wrong position of the tongue or some other uh, individual uh, uh, problems. Uh, so we see that all the teeth inclined palately, we see narrow maxilla, and patients want to get some kind of good aesthetics. So we could have two options. For the patient on the left, we can just align anterior teeth with the liners because we start the uh, the uh, the expansion with the aligners, so we'll have the inclination, so we could get recessions and not a very stable result. So if the patient wants to have the aesthetic of the anterior teeth, we could do that. But if we want to to get much better aesthetic result to get wider, broader smile set during the preparation stage before we start using aligners, we'll perform surgically assisted expansion of the maxilla. So we'll place mini screws. The upper jaw is cut from the uh, cranium. Uh, we place uh, the expander, this and then we get the expansion after which we could get the perfect conditions for uh, placing all the teeth in the arch and get broader smile. Also uh, a very similar case, we see the patient has a lot of recessions. And we have uh, crowding on lower jaw, you see that lateral incisors completely uh, blocked out from the arch. So what could we get? Uh, instead of working immediately with the liners, let's try first of all, because the uh, patient had some missing teeth before, there is a deformation of the occlusal plane, so the best option would be, as I think, to uh, upright and level posterior teeth with braces and arch wires, uh, also uh, with the anchorage on mini implants to get space for implant placement, to uh, perform bodily movement. At the same time, an upper jaw will perform surgically assisted expansion. And after that, with the liners, we can uh, do additional changes. So how it looked like on upper jaw, the beginning, during the expansion, and the final result. So it's all, uh, it's only uh, enough to move lateral incisors with the liners, and that's it. So what kind of stages we had with the mini screw uh, screws? We stabilized the uh, the posterior segments on the lower jaw. We distalized second molars on lower jaw. We uh, leveled them in occlusal plane. On upper jaw, we performed SARPA, surgically assisted, assisted rapid maxillary expansion. And then we restored the missing teeth with crowns and the final uh, aligning with clear aligners. Also, actively for two years, we use career motion appliance that helps us to place canines in class 1 occlusion, and then we can work with anterior teeth with the help of clear liners. I would say following, don't try to uh, rely only on uh, one single technique, try to look broader, and very often you you will have to perform the correction in stages. I just showed you a couple of examples from different uh, malocclusions, and it's all limited by your own imagination. And I think it's better to create conditions for uh, for uh, making correction with aligners with the tools that will give you more abilities. So aligner is a nice tool for quick and invisible correction of the anterior teeth, mostly. But so if you have ability to create optimal conditions with you by the use of other technique, why not to use it?